Hey guys, uh, Jeremy here at RC Collaborative. Today I have a video um, that's going to help anyone running 6S or high powered vehicles. If you have any issues with your wheel hexes spinning in the wheels or wheels coming off, uh, you may want to check it out and see some of these tips that I've explained in the video to help prevent that from happening and saving you a lot of aggravation and embarrassment. Um, I remember the first time I was running my Creighton, not the first time, but soon after getting the crate and running it down the road my wife happens to poke her head outside and at the same time my wheel came off and um, it was really embarrassing and she's like did your wheel just come off i was like yeah so uh <laughs> if you don't want to have moments like that then this video is for you so come check it out thank you yo i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'm a Hey guys, uh, we're out in the garage here with my Armour Creighton. Uh, I just want to talk about some issues with uh, stripping wheels and wheels falling off when running 6S. Um, the Arma system has a lot of power, uh, especially with this SMC battery running at 90C. Um, the car basically, you hit the throttle and it just flip over immediately on its back. Uh, it's got just a lot of power. And when you run it on the street or high traction situations, there's a bunch of torque and stress going through the system. And the stock wheels, um, they're pretty soft in my opinion. And I had issues with the uh, wheel hexes actually stripping in the uh, in the hub here of the, of the plastic. And then what would happen was the axle would spin inside the wheel and the nut would unscrew itself and the wheel would fall off. Um, that was pretty frustrating the first time, and first time it happened to me. It's happened a couple times, so I figured I would uh, fix it. And what I did was the wheel hubs come with this pin in it to, to lock it to the axle. So what it is, I took that out and I measured it with my caliper. I found the uh, thickness of it. And then I actually sacrificed uh, any Allen wrenches I could find. Um, I don't really like using Allen wrenches. Most of them are pretty low quality especially the ones that come with the armor kit. I'm gonna do a separate video on tools and the proper way to, to use hardware and stuff like that. And the proper way is to not use Allen wrenches. You're, you're gonna strip it um, and you're gonna cause damage that you can't undo and it's just gonna cause you frustration. So instead of throwing them away, uh, I repurpose them. Um, I can't tell you which size Allen wrenches to use but again, you'll measure um, the pin, which is 2.5 millimeters, basically. And what I did was, I actually found some Allen wrenches that were just a little too big. And I, I stuck it in my drill, and with some sandpaper, I ran the drill and brought the edges down until it fit into the hubs with a tight fit. Now, you, you need to use um, tool steel or something sh strong in this. Um, I actually, at one point, the Allen wrenches I had uh, were too skinny, they were sloppy, and it actually snapped off. So you want to use a tight fitting tool steel, good thick Allen wrench, something that's going to hold up to the torque of 6S. Um, so the lengths of the pins that I have in my hubs see that's at 32 millimeters and that's I think that's pretty much what I have mostly all the way around there's no exact size requirement or anything like that yeah, that one's 31 um, just anything that will allow the pins to protrude uh, protrude out past the hub And what this will do is lock in to the wheel and it won't allow it to turn. 
And I recommend doing this before you strip your wheels. Um, definitely some preventative action to be had there. And notching the wheel, um, I have a few tips for that. You want to take a, a sharpie or something and mark where you can see it on top where the center of this hole is on both sides and then drop it down inside the wheel and then you, you should be able to see your sharpie mark where to notch the wheel at. Um, I didn't do that and I ended up having to make some of my notches wider and later I discovered I could use this as a template and notch the show me where the holes need to be notched and the only tool that I found to notch this with that made any sense is this uh, oscillating multi-tool with a bit like this on it yeah, I was actually able to go in square and take the material off of this now most people aren't gonna have a cordless one like I do um, I use this one for work but Harbor Freight sells this corded one that's cheaper um, I don't use this one anymore. This is the first one I bought just to test these kind of tools out and discovered that they are just badass, um, honestly. Um, I, used, I use this thing a lot. It's perfect for cutting drywall and various other things. But that's a whole nother subject. So yeah, I use this, notch the wheel, and you wanna make sure you test fit everything make sure that your wheel is going on the hub all the way make sure you have it notched properly do the rear here so yeah all right so that's all the way on probably yeah, trying to give you a good view there so that pin like you're trying to get this off so that pin locks into the wheel and the wheel hub you know still does what it does and this will keep your axles from spinning inside the hub there and keep it from unscrewing itself and stripping and all that aggravating stuff now in addition to that um, I was on the Arma forums asking questions about having the wheel strip and everyone was like, oh, just put Loctite on your wheel nuts. Do not do that. Please do not do that. Um, I mean, if you never take your wheels off, you know, I guess you could take your chances. But with having that much stress in the wheel nut, having the, the Loctite on it, trying to take it off, put it back on, you're going to end up stripping it. Um, and you're going to end up, if you don't strip the threads on your hubs or if you don't strip your nuts, you're going to strip the wheels because the wheels are what holds that hub still so while you're trying to wrench off this nut the wheel is holding it so if you haven't pinned your axles and you're using Loctite especially if you haven't pinned your axles um, you have a chance of stripping the wheel out this has happened I've seen it um, it will strip this wheel and then you know you're kind of stuck so that's why I like the idea of pinning the axles and pinning the hubs like I did. I've got it on all four corners. At first, I just did it to the ones that stripped, and then it happened on another. And then, I, you know, by the second one, I was like, screw it, I'm doing all of them. So I pinned all four corners. I pinned all my wheels um, for bashing. This is for 6S. Now, for 4S, I don't, um, for racing, I, I don't pin my wheels for racing. I take the pins out and I put the normal the normal pins in. That's on 4S. Uh, there's not as much stress, not as much power being put down, so you don't really need it. Um, I did one time have a wheel fall off, but it was I think it was because it wasn't uh, locked on very good. <clears throat> this is an Arma wheel nut, this black one. There's not, uh, the teeth on it are very, very bland there's there's not much there they're very shallow this is a I think Thunder Innovations nut that I got from Dean's Discount Hobbies um, I'm sure you can get them online but the serration on this is much deeper much better groove and once I started using these I never lost another wheel um, and then also with the wheel pins I never stripped another wheel either 
And the earlier you do that, the less chances you'll have of having issues. Now, once you identify the right size Allen wrench you're gonna use, or if you can go online and find um, a pin, the right length that you can cut down. I ordered some stainless steel rods off eBay, and when I got them, they were so soft, um, I didn't even bother. Uh, it just wasn't gonna work. As soon as I put them in and put power to it, they would just twist and probably just get destroyed. So, uh, you know, again, you need to have the tool steel or something strong like that. Um, I don't remember what size it is, but one of my hex drivers, I think it's the one millimeter hex tip driver. The actual shaft of the aluminum driver itself is a perfect size to fit through here. And that's tool steel. Uh, tool steel, that's pretty strong. So, and they sell those replacement tips, like the Turnigy brand replacement hex driver tips or the Dynamite brand. You can buy just the tips for a few bucks. You can buy that and cut it up. And uh, my, my tool of choice for cutting metal is always some sort of uh, angle grinder. Here's an air one for air compressor. Uh, this is my electric one for my tool set. Uh, I love this thing. You may not have these, but you might have a Dremel. Um, so the Dremels have cutoff wheels as well. These are these discs are cutoff wheels, and that's what I recommend using to try to cut these down. Um, don't use a sawzall; you'll lose some fingers. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. So any questions, uh, just put them in the comments below, and I'll be glad to help you, uh, give you some advice, or if you find something that you think would work for pins and you're not sure, just ask me. I'll let you know. Um, you know, it's a little bit of labor. It's a pain in the ass. You know, you gotta find Allen wrenches. You gotta go, you gotta sacrifice some Allen wrenches or go to Harbor Freight and buy some cheap ones. Um, do what you gotta do to make your pins. But I, you know, it's just a, just something you can try. Um, you know, send me comments in the in below. Let me know if you've ever had issues with stripping your wheel hubs, uh, especially on 6S. And let me know if you try this out and if it works for you. Um, all right, have a good day. I'm going back in. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, comment below. Uh, please let me know if the videos helped you, what you would like to see in the next videos, and if there's anything we can do to make the quality of the videos better for you, that would be great. Um, if you're a vendor and you'd like to send me something to review, uh, product review, or would like to sponsor me for racing, uh, my email is just down here. Send me an email, we'll work it out. Um, other than that, collab on, guys.